So before we get into this video, let's sanitize our hands. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ibrahim. I am a third year medical student in Nigeria. And in this video, I'm gonna show you five apps in order to make you the best medical student that you can possibly be. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Without wasting any time, let's get into this video. Now the first application that I want to show you is called Anatomy MCQs. For that, let's get into my tab. So the application of Anatomy MCQs is right here on the right. This is the premium version, but it also has a free version which is right here on the left. So I'm going to open the premium version now. So immediately you open the application, you're going to have four tabs, introduction, subjects, questions and results basically in the introduction it introduces the app and it also has a little information on the author robert Whitaker. so let's let, let's go into the subject menu now when you click on the subject menu it's going to show you eight subjects that you're going to be taking in your preclinical years so if you want to answer a question on the upper limb you click on the arm which is right here on the top so let's try a question so for each for each time you click on the upper limb tab you're going to be given 20 questions 20 mcq questions and let's try the question now it says concerning the veins of the upper limb could be stated that the cephalic vein has no valve just for the sake of showing how the app, app works i'm going to say it's true the median, median capital vein lies for facial to bicepital aponeurosis this is true basilic vein lies in the decto pectoral groove false Basilic vein starts at the medial aspect of the dorsal venous arc through basilic vein pierces the clavipectoral fascia false. So immediately you answer, you finish answering all the questions. It's going to highlight the ones that you got right in green and the ones that you failed in red. So let's go into the results tab. So you now in the result tab right here on the top you can see your result for each of the courses you can see that in the upper limb i got a score of four out of five with a percentage of 80 percent out of 100 after doing one session of 235 sessions and at the bottom of the result tab is going to show you your total score in all of the eight subjects and also your percentage in bracket and let's say you answer a lot and you would like to reset the app and go back and start from zero you just click on these three dots here on the upper right hand corner it's going to show it's going to show you an option of reset usage so i'm going to click on it now so after clicking on it it goes back to introduction now let's go to results and check you can see that all my results have been cleared back to zero so this is a very useful app in understanding how much you've understood and comprehended anatomy. Now the second application that I want to show you is an application that's not a stranger to medical students. It is called Teach Me Anatomy. So right here on the right is the application for Teach Me Anatomy and I'm going to open it now. So basically when you open the app you're going to see some popular articles that are being written they are very important but for us we're going to look at browse by region there are other this is the free version but there is also a premium version of the app for which you have to pay for but for on the free version you can browse by region so here you can see different regions of the body that you can choose to study for us let's take a look at the abdomen also when you open the abdomen there are different topics on the abdomen that you can study with so let's take a look at the vasculature of the abdomen also it divides it into the arteries of the abdomen and the venous drainage of the abdomen i really like how the app arranges them in that order very important for your understanding so let's take a look at the arteries of the abdomen it also subdivides it down into the iota and the three main branches that supply the abdomen so let's take a look at the celiac trunk so basically when you click on the celiac trunk it's going to show you the anatomical position where it's where it originates 
its different branches and different structures that they supply and then at the top here you can see there's another tab for images that you can see here which shows you basically the different branches of the celiac trunk and then the next tab here on the top is the quiz tab if you click on it it's going to give you a question so let's try one question it says um, which of the following vessel vessels arises from the abdominal aorta proximal to the celiac trunk and then it gives you four options we have the spiromesenteric artery the renal artery the inferior phrenic artery and then the intercostal artery now the answer should be the inferior phrenic artery so basically you just click on the inferior inferior phrenic artery here and when you click it, it's going to show you that you're correct. The inferior phrenic artery is the first branch of the abdominal aorta. And then you press continue and then it gives you another question and you keep going. Now for a question, but maybe you don't know the answer or you don't want to answer it, you can press the skip button right here on the right. And then it will skip that question and go to the next question. The next tab is the 3D model, which unfortunately is not available on the free app. You have to sign up and also pick up a subscription for the app so that is the app for teach me anatomy also another very important app now the third app that i want to show you is called medical biochemistry now for that let's go back into my tab is the icon for the application of medical biochemistry and i'm going to open it now Now immediately you open the app, you're going to see different um, topics in biochemistry. And the reason that I like this app is that it goes straight to the point. It doesn't waste time in discussing a lot of unrelevant stuff. It gives you the basics that you're supposed to know. So for example, now let's take a look at, which one should we take? Okay, let's take a look at the citric acid cycle. Now basically immediately you open it you're going to see um, basically like a definition of the citric acid cycle and I want you to take note of how it arranges them because headings are very important when it comes to our tests and our exams. Basically you're going to look at the definition and straight it goes, it goes straight to the functions of the citric acid cycle and then we go and look at the reactions, reactions that are involved in different steps of the citric acid cycle and it also shows you and you see if you take a look at this it goes step one it shows you the reaction and it gives you a little bit of explanation under it step two also the same thing mentions the enzyme involved in that specific process so it's very important in the sense that it breaks them down in an order that is expected of you to write in your exams and tests and it makes it very easy for you to study it doesn't bother you with a lot of um, a lot of hyper stops so I think that this app is very important. So now let's say you finish studying biochemistry on the medical biochemistry app and you want to test how much of it you've comprehended. This takes us to our fourth application that I want to show you which is called biochemistry handbook. Now this is now this is the icon for the biochemistry handbook application and I'm going to open it now. So basically when you open the app the same thing you're going to see different topics in biochemistry and now let's look at citric acid cycle again so that we can see some questions under it these are all um, topics in biochemistry that you're going to take um, citric acid cycle is also known as the C, uh, it's also known as the TCA cycle so let's take a look at that so when you open the uh, uh, sorry, when you open a specific topic in the application, it gives you a set of 10 questions as you can see. So we start with question number one. Let's say how many molecules of ATP are synthesized per, NA, so per NAH, NADH oxidation. Basically, if you want to see the answer of that question, you just click this view answer tab here. Immediately you click it. It's going, it's going to show you the answer here which is three which is which means three atps are synthesized per nadh oxidation so this is a really good app in seeing how far you've understood biochemistry so now the final application that i want to show you guys is called physiology mcq so for that again let's go back into
Now right here on the left is the icon for the Physiology MCQs application and I'm going to open it now. So basically when you open the application you're going to see different topics that you're going to take in your preclinical years. So for this illustration let's pick endocrinology. So when you press on endocrinology, you're, it's going to give you questions. On the top left corner is the number of questions that you've answered. And on the top right corner is the number of questions that are remaining for you. And right here is the, at the bottom is your navigation keys for which you can go to the next question or go to the previous question. When you click on it, it goes to question number two and then straight to question number three and so on and so forth. So let's try one question. This question says the enzyme required for synthesis of CAMP is called the answer is adenylate cyclase. So when you click on your answer is going to show you the answer that is correct. If that matches with the one that you picked, it will highlight it as green. So that's just it. You keep on going. It shows that you've answered on the top left corner. It shows that you've answered two questions and you have 58 questions remaining. So this brings us to the end of today's video and all the apps that I've mentioned, the five apps that I've mentioned are all available for download on the Android Play Store. Please, if you, there is any application that you use as a medical student that you believe is going to be helpful to medical students in Nigeria, please do share them in the comment box down below. It doesn't take away anything from you to share these apps. You are creating doctors, everyday doctors that are going to save thousands of lives so please leave them in the comment box down below so if you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to support me in making good videos amazing videos like this that help medical students all around all around nigeria to study better and be the best medical student that they can be so as to save more and more lives please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever i release a new video so before we go, let's sanitize our hands one more time. So remember to wash your hands, be kind to one another, and stay safe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.